right. Let's get back to action on the track and truck. Top fuel now, the semifinals. Corey McLenathan and Morgan Lucas. Here's the Lucas Oil top fuel ladder. And coming up shortly, Spencer Massey. Good matchups in the semifinal. Wow. I mean, this is, and these are evenly matched cars here all weekend long. They've been running pretty close every time uh, through every session and every round. So, late, our uh, reaction time could play a part in this particular run. Corey Mack has won Atlanta three times. Morgan Lucas has never won in top fuel. That even. Oh, this Good is a race. run. Wow. Lucas, 387, wow. goes to the final. Takes down the three time Atlanta winner. At 314. That was basically dead even all the way down the racetrack. That was just a good old drag race. I mean, Dead even off the starting line. The incremental numbers were almost identical. Morgan was running slightly faster at the eighth mile. I think that was the difference right there. He just kind of pulled out a little bit, running two mile an hour faster, 276 to Corey's 274. Great drag race. Morgan Lucas, last final round was at Denver three years ago. Look at that photo finish. And it's time for a Napa track fact, and we want to take you back to after second round and Spencer Massey's pit. Mike, get us up on it. Changing the engine here. This is what they call a short block. That's everything from the cylinder heads down. That's the engine block with the crank rods, pistons, cam all degreed in. They have uh, actually the magnetos in there to help save time. A lot of times they come back, they'll pull the pan off. They may see a spun bearing on the crankshaft, and they say, hey, let's just pull one of those other engines out there. Pretty much keep them all identical as close as possible. Normally it's not a big deal when they have to do that. Spencer Massey is laying down the numbers this weekend. Got to his first number one qualifying at a track where he got his first Wally and now looking at his first final round. But he's going to have to get by Tony Schumacher if he's going to do that. Oh, man, look at it. He did it on his way to the final. On a whole shot. How about that? Spencer Massey, this kid is terrific. Tony Schumacher is out. Massey goes to the final. Tell you, this kid is doing his job by three hundredths of a second. Had the advantage off of the starting line against one of the best in the business. Tony Schumacher is no slouch on the starting line, but Spencer Massey really is dialed in today. And look at that thing. It rattled the tires and drove through it. Almost didn't make it. That was a pretty serious rattle of those tires without going up in smoke. That's because the track is so tight that the rubber held and those tires just hooked up and gets the win, and the snake loves it. So we'll go to the final in top fuel with two guys who have never won an NHRA top fuel event. Spencer Massey and Morgan Lucas. And Spencer will have the lane choice. Nice job, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. One of you guys is going to be brand new winners today, man. Yeah, Way to go, go, bro. Yeah. Way to go. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a huge final coming now in Top Fuel. Spencer Massey and Morgan Lucas. Neither one has won an NHRA Top Fuel event. There's Morgan Lucas, his 107th race weekend. In the other lane, the rookie, Spencer Massey, his sixth race. Oh, pedal fast. Who's going to do it? about that. He's waited and waited and waited. He has to this point been 0-5 in career finals. His last final was Denver in 2005. But this one was it. Now watch this. I mean, Morgan had about a hundredth of a second advantage. You saw him lift the front end. They both pedaled about the same time. They were identical in the lap time. Look how sideways Spencer had that. They were identical to the eighth mile. The difference was Spencer's car rotated way too far around where he could not get back on the throttle. And that allowed Morgan to get in the throttle just a little bit more and get that momentum to carry him into his first victory.
Well, you talk about two guys who wanted it, Dave Reef. Oh, Jimmy Walsh, you know what? Maybe it wasn't the tune-up that you wanted, but imagine if you were Morgan Lucas needing to win this race. How's that man feeling right now? He feels pretty good right now, and the whole team does. They've been working on it for a long time, and I've been working on one for a long time, and this one's for my mom. She's not doing good, and, and I want to thank Forrest and uh, Charlotte for all the, they put up with me so far. Way to go. Gary Gerald. Morgan, what has the wait been like and what is the feeling now that you have finally been rewarded? You, know, you always get this impression of what your first win is going to be like and you know it's like a dream to get to race against one of your good friends and that's huge but we got a new sponsor this year with Geico Power Sports and it's great to win for them but for my dad at home I can't wait to make that phone call it's going to be huge but I always thought is this going to be a great win is it going to be a pretty win is it going to be nice is it going to be like a really proud moment and that might have been one of the uglier finals that's ever happened but you know, when you hear him over there pedaling, I'm trying to just feather the throttle, and I mean, just exciting. I'm, my heart's pumping. Everybody home, I love you. Hey, I'm just excited right now. I can't even tell you. I can't wait to see my guys. We're going to have the biggest party tonight, and I hope everybody else stays, and hope everybody in the, the crowd stays. And you know what? Joe Phillips, there's a guy who works for my parents for years, and he's always been there since. I'm just proud. I can't, I can't even tell you. Congratulations, Morgan. Woo! Morgan Lucas has his first win, his first Wally. And it was unbelievable. I mean, this uh, the numbers weren't that exciting, but I'll tell you what, the numbers, the half track were exciting because even with all this pedaling and backpedaling going on, spin the tires, they were within a hundredth of a second in lap time to the eighth mile. Like I said, the difference, watch the right lane, Spencer Massey, they're both pedaling, they're both smoking the tires, they both have the same ET to that point, but right there, that thing rotated way too far. Spencer knew he had to get out of the throttle, otherwise he was gonna hit the wall, which was the right move, but unfortunately, that allowed Morgan to get the win. Now watch this, this is fun to watch. I mean, goes out there and Spins the tires, he pedals it, doesn't recover, gets back on, that thing starts rotating around, and look at that thing slide. Now right there, he hit it before it was squared up to the finish line. That allowed it to rotate big time over towards the wall. He knew at that point he couldn't get back in thrall, even though he gave it a little bit blip there, and Morgan Lucas gets his first win. What an exciting race. And you know what, say what you will about the rain shower is slowing everything down, but how cool to have that race at night where the flames are so fully visible. Well, I'm just guessing there's going to be a fairly big party with Morgan Lucas and the gang. Look, they're already starting, Mike and I. Now, we're going. I'm guessing. I'm on my way right now. Gary Gerald, Reef, they're going to be there. Let's go to Gary Gerald. He has Spencer Massey. Wow. I mean, you talk about drama, pedal fest. We knew we were going to have a first-time winner, but you had more than your hands full. Tell us what happened in that cage. Well, it, it just went out and started shaking the tires, and then it went up in smoke, and when I pedaled it, it, it shook and did whatever, and it just had me rattling so hard in there. I hit, hit the dang roll cage, you know, and, and the padding in there, and kind of rung my bell for a second, and next thing I know, I'm pointing towards the wall and then having to pull it away, and it, I don't know, it's just one of those things, you know, these cars are animals, and you got to tame them sometimes, and it bit me, you know, so I didn't do my job driving. You know, the guys have done their job all, all weekend long, and I feel like I should have done better for the team and for the guys, but uh, that's why they make another race. St. Louis is two weeks away, and we're ready for it bunch of rounds today so you've made a lot of progress in there. yes we did thank you everybody and honor to be here for united associations and u.s smokeless and don the snake perdome happy to be here thanks thank you